I'm Doug DeMuro, and the time has come for me to sell my CTSV wagon. But before I do, I've decided to make a little farewell video showing you what it was like to own a 550 horsepower station wagon with an automatic transmission. So how fast is the Cadillac? To find out, I've decided to drag race it against my other car. Yeah, okay, maybe that was a little unfair. So we're gonna try it a different way. That was a lot closer. To find out, I've decided to set up a slalom, but unfortunately, I don't have any cones to mark the course. So instead, I'm going to use these four American car models. Forget the pain, you might not even be that was fun. Too bad I'm going to get an angry email from every Impala owner who sees this. Of course, you already know the CTSB wagon is fast and that it handles well. So let's answer a more important question. Can it jump a Range Rover? Yes. Yes, it can. I love how the V-Wagon looks, and so do most automotive journalists. But just to be sure, I asked a few of them. The CTSV Wagon? I love the CTSV Wagon. CTSV Wagon? More like CTSV Awesome. But what about regular people? Are they as excited as I am about a Cadillac station wagon? To find out, I took to the streets. <laughs> All right, there's a woman waiting at this stoplight. I'm gonna put it in neutral. That had no effect. You see this? Cadillac! He, he doesn't see this. Uh, here we go, GTR, GTR, you gonna notice? No, he, he doesn't, he doesn't care. Um, no. No, nobody, nobody notices. Apparently not. Maybe if it had a manual. There are a lot of things that I like about the V-Wagon's interior. For example, when you turn on the car, this screen pops up and it shows a movie that features the Cadillac logo. And there are all these great buttons on the steering wheel. And those are useful. And let's not forget these little dots that light up whenever you accelerate for, I don't really know why actually. And unlike any German car I've ever been in, there are no blank switches anywhere on the center stack. And the screen goes up and down and up and down, and people seem to really like that. But the best part is that the steering wheel is so fuzzy. So fuzzy. But there are a few problems inside, the biggest of which is visibility. For instance, you may think there's nothing back there, but there's actually an eight foot tall leaning tower of Pisa. And while it seems like there's nothing on the side of the car, there's actually two giant rolls of lifesavers. 
And sometimes when you're trying to make a turn, the A pillar is hiding in Easter Island Head. Still, I love spending time in the interior. So fuzzy. The best thing about the V-Wagon is that it is, in fact, a wagon. And that means it can hold just about anything. This motorcycle helmet, this stepladder, and this enormous bag of packing peanuts. I think we're done here. Goodbye, V-Wagon. It's been fun.